Last night, students and community members gathered in the Carrier Dome for the 33rd annual Martin Luther King Jr. celebration. Citrus TV's Zachary Levine was there to see how the campus community honored his legacy. Yeah, that's right, Leonza. The theme at this year's dinner was attention to impact. The university might have picked the, picked the perfect speaker to rally up not only the activists, but the entire crowd. Remember, celebrate, act. While remembrance and celebration were undertones throughout the night, it was a call to action that brought people together at the 33rd annual Martin Luther King Jr. dinner. We act to do our part in bending the arc of the universe. We act to express values and resist fears. We act to turn intention into impact. Song, dance, and awards filled the majority of the event schedule, but keynote speaker Angela Rye delivered the most politicized, stimulating message of the evening. But in this country, power has been used to fuel oppression, which I would define as the ability to prevent purpose. But y'all's president isn't just trying to, uh, y'all, because he's not mine, isn't just trying to undo the legacy of President Obama, but rather the very legacy of civil rights that Dr. King fought so hard for, that all his comrades fought so hard for, that which blazed the trail for there to even be a Barack Obama. You want to build that wall, but wait until that wall hits your pocket real hard. You don't want this truth. <laughs> There's an economic cost to bigotry. And now you have your president, Donald Trump, with that damn wall and shitholes for countries. That's not my words, those are his words. And it's disgusting. It hurts every time I say it, but that's what he said. <sighs> the real shithole is his mouth. Now, Angela Rye is a political analyst on CNN and NPR, making regular appearances on both networks. As you saw there, she's very outspoken against President Trump. <laughs> 